righteous God. You are so honorable God. And we just thank you this morning Father. We thank you God. Just for everything that you do Lord. Yes God. Yes God. Yes God. Bless your name, God. We don't own the rights to the music. But we own the rights to the kingdom. We own the power of the kingdom. We own the renewed mind of the kingdom. God, we just thank you this morning. We thank you, Father, for making a way, God, out of no way. We thank you, God, just for all that you do, Father. Reminding us that we're under an open heaven, God. Reminding us, God, that your power still works. Reminding us, God, that you are still in control, Father. For those who will be subject under your authority, God, we thank you, Father, for all that you do, Daddy. We thank you, God, just for your poor this morning, Father. We thank you, God, just for being that chosen, Father. We thank you for the chosen family, God. We thank you, Father, for blessing them this morning, Father, that they will see your power today, God. They will feel your power today, Father. Father, that they will get out of the bed, Father, get off the couch, Father, and just praise you this morning, God, because we are under the open heaven, Father, the open heaven that will pour, the open heaven that will heal, the open heaven that will cover, the open heaven, God, the open heaven, God, the open heaven, God, the open heaven, God, the open heaven that parted the Red Sea, the open heaven, God, that helped us last week, the open heaven, God, we thank you for the open heaven. We thank you for the open heaven, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for blessing us this morning. We thank you, God, for your power, Father. You got the power, Father. You got the power, God. You got the power, Father. So if you have the power, God, we have the power, God. We can move in power, God. We can pray on power, God. We can stand on power, God. You got the power, Father. It's your power that heals. It's your power that covers. It's your power that encourages. It's your power, God. Your power, power, power. Oh, God, you got the power, Father. Oh, God, we got the power, Father. Oh, God, we need the power, God. Oh, God, your power, power. Power, 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 God. We thank you, Father. Yes. For your power this morning. We thank you for your power this morning, God. You got the power, God. It's your power, Father, that will encourage us in a time like this. It's your power, God, that will allow us to stand on faith. It's your power, God, that will allow us to encourage us to get up in the morning. It's your power, God, that will give us the strength and the wisdom to put some oil on our hands, God, and mark our doors, God. It's your power, God, that will give us the wisdom, Father, to anoint ourselves. It's your power, God, that give us the wisdom to anoint our children, God. And God, we thank you for the open heaven. We thank you for the power. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for Jesus. 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 We thank you for Dr. Martin Luther King. We thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for Harriet Tubman. Oh God, I thank you for my mother. I thank you for my father, God. I thank you for my grandmothers. I thank you for my in-laws. I thank you for my chosen family. I thank you, God, for all that you have done. I thank you, God, for already what you're doing. I thank you, God, that you're working behind the scenes. I thank you, God, that you're still encouraging me. I thank you, God, you're keeping me focused. I thank you, God, you're giving me the strength to press in. I thank you, God, you're giving me the strength to press through. Oh, God, I thank you for the open heaven. I thank you, God. Oh, God, we thank you for the open heaven. Oh, God, we thank you for the open heaven. We thank you for the open pour this morning. 
Leshonega, in Corosa, aha, in Corosa, in Corosa, in Corosa, we thank you, God, for the open heaven. We praise your holy name. We honor your holy name. Oh, God, we thank you, Father. We pray that you bless everyone this morning, God. That, God, you renew their mind, Father. That you heal their hearts, God. You restore happiness. You restore faith, God. We thank you, God. Oh, God, we lift your name today, Father. We lift your name in our hearts. We lift you up this morning, God. We can sit ourselves down, Father. So we can lift you up, Father, with our mouths. And we can lift you up, God, with our power. In the name of Jesus, God, we got the power of your word. We got the power this morning. Hey, hey. Hey, Corosa. Hey. There's a miracle. The waters are stirring. The waters are moving. And God, we thank you, Lord. And it's in Jesus' name, Lord, that we pray, Father. In Jesus' name that we pray this prayer. And all that agree, give God your highest praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is so. And amen. Bless your name, God. We don't own the rights to the music, but we own the rights to the kingdom. Good morning, Chosen family. I am Pastor Maya Miller. If this is your first time joining us, we thank God for you. You could have been on any broadcast this morning, but we thank God that you, you chose to be with us today. Chosen family, I'm going to say this to you all today. I know that we're in a trying time, so if you feel that you need to be in the house today and you're not sick, come on up here. We'll be up here for an hour, so you can come on up here with your mask. Sometimes you just got to be in the presence of the Lord and just to get the renewed strength that you need. I know that you can make an altar at home, but if you want to come up here and join us this morning, go on ahead and get in your car and get on up here. We'll be up here for about an hour. Amen. Amen. We're going to be in the book of Ecclesiastics, the third chapter. The book of Ecclesiastics, the third chapter. And just out of respect for the reading of the word, I would ask that you stand for the reading of the word. Stand for the reading of the word. And even at home, I would ask that you stand uh, for the reading of the word. And we're in the third chapter. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, and it reads as follows at verse 1. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to gain and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak up. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Yes, Lord. A time of peace. Verse 9, it says, What profit has the worker from, from that in which he labors? I have seen the God-giving tasks which uh, the sons of men are to be occupied. Verse 11, he has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, except that no one can find, uh, find out the work that God does uh, from beginning to end. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. As we talk about the time, uh, there's a time that we are currently in that we are seeing that uh, in this time we have a president that's able to say what he wants to say, do what he wants to do, and move how he wants to move. We also see in this time that there are uh, black men and women that are being killed, and there's not a lot that people are saying about it that are sitting in authority. Uh, there, We are now sitting in a time where we've experienced this pandemic, and people are starting to work 
hurry in this time, but I'm here to tell you today that this is a time to draw near to God. Amen. We have to draw near to the Lord because we understand that in this timing, there is a pull and a tear uh, from the kingdom. And God is saying in this particular time that we have to get in order. As we see in this time that there are riots that are happening and looting that is happening. And we see in this time that people are being discouraged by minute by minute. But I'm here to tell you today that in this time, I can encourage you to draw near to the Lord. It says in James, the fourth chapter at verse eight, that we must draw near to God and not be double minded in how we move and think. And God is saying in this time, we are to move like never before. I understand that we are trying to figure out how black men are still dying each and every day. But I'm here to tell you that the God that we serve is still in control at this time. So what we need to do is focus our time on the word and what we need to do is focus our time on what our assignments are in this season. And this time is not time to sleep in church. In this time, it's not time for us to be delusional about what's going on in this time. In this time, I'm going to press into my oil and press into the Lord. In this time, I'm trying to figure out how we have people sitting in authority and they're not speaking at this time. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you today that if you are sitting at the table, baby, you must speak. In this time, must get in order. In this time, we must connect together. In this time, we must operate in spirit and in truth. I was going before the Lord asking God, that, Father, how do you want me to walk this today? He said, my daughter, in this time, you must tell the truth. And I'm here to tell you that in this time, we're not going to get what we want by just tearing up some things. We don't get what we need and what we want by being order in this time. You got to be in order with your finances so when the time comes and we got to elect the man and woman to get in the house that's chosen by God that we can back it up with our money. Yeah. God says in this time when you burning a target ain't going to help you in this time. But what will help you in this time is if you put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. Oh God in this time if we will begin to focus on you Lord and focus on what you're saying Father and walk in spirit and in truth. Yeah. And then I asked my daddy this morning how did that man that kosher that I see the Rosiah in such a time like this he could not depend on somebody to give him twenty dollars Lord that he had to take our matters into his own hands and I'm here to tell you this morning that in this time baby you got to get in order this is time for mamas and daddies to get along and stop fighting in front of their children this is time for children to get in order and obey their parents oh baby this is time for us to draw near to the Lord. It's time for us to register and vote. It is time for us to show up and vote. It is time for us to back up our vote. It is time for us to stand behind those that can make a difference. What are you talking about, Pastor? Well, let me help you understand this morning that when you see your brothers and sisters in Christ and they are running for election, baby, you are supposed to stand up with your sign that says, I elect this person. You supposed yeah. to stand up with your wallet and say, I support this person. I seen Alicia Reese talking about that she didn't have a whole lot of money, but she had a whole lot of faith to stand on in this time. And my dear God, he showed up for her in this time. So I'm here to tell you that in this time, when you see your brothers and sisters that look like you, that can make a difference, you are to stand with them in this time. Yeah. You want us to do in this oh, time. Yeah. And he says, My daughter, I need you all to get in order. I'm looking for preachers who have been called by my name that won't be trying to preach sophisticated sermons, but baby, that yeah. they can tell the truth in this time. God says, In this time, we must walk in truth. In this time, we must operate in truth. In this time, we must look up upon on truth. Oh, in this time, we have to get along. In this time, we should be at the church. In this time, we should be in our prayer closet. And I know there are some questionable ones that looky lose that's on my page this morning talking about prayer ain't gonna bring back the dead. No, baby, but being strategic will. Being strategic, you can bring back God in your marketplace. Being strategic, you can bring back God in the kingdom. Being strategic, you can bring back God in your
your house and in my house. And that's what we can do in this time. God, this time we must walk with a confidence. In this time, we must walk in truth. In this time, we must get in order in such a time like this. God, yes, this time, God. we must be on one accord. And in this time, we must die to flesh. It's so easy to say you're marching, but it's so hard to stand for truth. Oh, God says, and it's time for you, brothers and sisters, that say that you bleed blue, baby. It's time for you to stand up, too. We know we got good cops and bad cops. And I'm here to tell you for all you good cops, when you see lack of integrity that's happening in your backyard, you must stand up in this time. You must raise your hand in this time. You must speak in this time. You must support your brothers and sisters uh, in this time. Oh, I remember there was a time that you will go back and say, oh, we want to get this brother right here, Dr. Martin Luther King, to run for a political role. And then he had all his brothers and sisters that stood with him in that, son, in that time. And God says, in this time, we must operate in that time. We must look for our brothers and sisters that wear blue. And we must say, hey, God is choosing you. And then we must get behind them with our paycheck. And then we must also stand in prayer. But in this time, we got to move like we move. And this time we got to believe how we believe. Yes, yes, God. God is not interested in your perspective. He's interested in how you going to move in his power. God says in this time it's not about your Facebook posts. Baby, in this time it's about your moves. God says in this time it's about your move. In this time you must operate in order. God show me in the Bible he said my daughter my word is still the same yesterday today and forever he said my daughter I called Jeremiah for such a time where they were looting and killing as well but my daughter he stood on my word my daughter he moved in my word my daughter he stood on my word my daughter he operated out of my word he said my daughter I told them that they would try to kill him but my daughter he stood on faith he went into the crowd and said if the blood be on your hands I still must tell the truth and God says in this time we must tell the truth we must operate in truth and move on truth we must speak the truth of God God says in this time we have to move in our power I, I know that many of you may say how dare she says that well I say it because I have a black husband and a black son and some black brothers and a black daddy too so I have the right just like you to tell the truth in a time like this I'm not interested in showing people that I got power I'm showing them by the word of God I got to move on the word of God and operate in the word of God I'm not interested in petty power Facebook posts, Instagram posts screenshots baby I'm interested in getting in my quiet place with the Lord and asking God how do I operate in power in such a time like this I'm not interested in giving you a cute sermon I'm not interested in trying to tip you I'm interested in looking for the power of God to move in a time like this it's time for us to stop having black on black crimes too oh baby I'm telling the truth today I am tired of seeing black men die but I'm to sow, a time to keep 
a silence and a time to speak. Yeah. God says life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yes, Lord. And God says we must use our tongue for power and position and move how he's called us to move. It is not time for us to be loose with our lips. It is not time for us to go down and tear up some things and then call mama and them to get us out of jail. It is time for us to be strategic. It is time for us to make an impact. It is time for us to show up. God says baby you show up with power and money. You show you show up with prayer. You show up with some faith. You can move in such a time like this. I know y'all tired. I'm tired too. But I can still stand on the word of God. I can still move on the word of God even in a time like this. God says in a time like this, we must get in our secret place. In a time like this, we must stand on his word. God says he had David trained in the field when he was mending the sheep. God says then he called him for such a time of war, but he equipped him for the war. He got David with some, a slingshot and some rocks, and he was able to kill that big giant. God says the way that we can kill the big giant of racism is by moving in his power. The way that we can kill the Goliath of racism is by moving in his power. We got to quit getting caught up in our feelings and move in our power. We got to quit wasting time in such a time like this, but move in our power. God says, baby, move in your power. Baby, move in your power. God says, in this time, you should go to your city council meetings at Kosher and I see that old to know what they talking about, to know how they spending your money, to know how they spending your tax dollars. He said, baby, yeah. Reinvest your money. Reinvest it in the broke down neighborhoods. Reinvest it in the children that are left behind. Reinvest it in the programs that are no longer now. God says in this time, you are to use your power. Amen. And I know some of you are saying that, what do you know? Well, baby, I know two things. I know the God that I serve and I know what he's called me to. And I know that I got to stand in a time like this and say, we got to operate out of order. I can't condone something that's not of order, but I surely can use my time to go to God. God and say, Father, how do you want me to move in this time? Yes, Lord. God, how do you want me to pray in this time? God, how do you want me to talk in this time? God, how do you want me to believe in this time? God says, in this time, we must draw near to him. It's so much work to do. Oh, in this time. is we got to stop pointing the fingers and move in this time. There was a time they had Black Wall Street that we would go borrow money from those that look like us. But instead, we want to move in zip codes and neighborhoods that don't look like us. We want to put our kids in those same neighborhoods. And then we want to act like them. Oh, baby, how you going to move like us and act like them? God says, in this time, he needs you to know who you are. You can't be double-minded with your money, and you can't be double-minded with your mouth. You got to know who you are in this time. Stop putting those people on your website. You put better put on your website. If they don't want to buy for you, let them keep moving. God says, in this time, we must operate in truth. Oh, there's so much that we got to do in this time. We got to move like the mountains can move when we have faith. God says, in this time, we got to consult with him. It's time for our brothers to be in the church. We need y'all presence are in the church. If you can get up and go down and tear up Target, baby, I need you in church on Sunday. If you can throw a brick in somebody's business, I need you here for prayer time. If you can go and talk about it on Facebook, baby, I need you here for peace and prayer. I need to see your same energy in this time. I need to see your same energy when it comes to the church. In this time, we got to move. I'm not interested in you marching on Wall Street or marching in D.C. Yes, Lord. God says we've been playing a whole lot of games in this time. Yeah, I'm talking about it. Of course, should I see the on sight? The Lord paid my bill, so I ain't worried about it. God says in this time, 
we got to operate in spirit and truth. And I'm talking to some of you that God has called to run for city council. God says he's not interested in your degree. He's not interested in your background. He's just interested in your yes. You got to operate in your yes and move in your yes. He says in this time you are to trust him. In this time you are to trust him. In this time you are to move on his trust. God says what has happened is that we've allowed the devil to go into the White House. We've even allowed the devil to be in our house. But we have not spent enough time with God to understand when the devil is moving. God says in this time I'm calling y'all to draw near. In this time I'm calling y'all to draw near. In this time I'm calling y'all to draw near. If y'all continue to lift me I will put down the hand of the enemy. If you continue to pray to me I will show you my plan. If you continue to seek me I will seek you out. God says in this time know who he is. Yes. Yes, Lord. God says there's a time to refrain from embracing. God says we got to operate out of his authority. He says he's not interested in what you think. He's interested in how you are obedient. Obedient to how he tells you to move. Obedient to how you go to him. Obedient in how you consult with him and determined to move on truth. This is a time yes, for you to move in truth. This is a time for you to speak the truth. This is a time for you to operate uh-huh. in truth. Yeah, yeah. God says there's many times that we sit at the table and didn't say nothing. We will turn a blind eye for personal gain. But baby, in this time, he's calling us to walk with integrity. Yeah. Stop taking acceptance of our promotions instead of walking in truth. You look over some things that God says in this season, you are to operate in truth. He's coming back for those that belong to him, that called on him and trusted in him. He said, uh-huh. baby, in this time, uh-huh. you are to operate and press in truth. Yeah. You got to move in truth and believe in truth uh-huh. in such a time like this. Yes, Lord. Oh, he says in this time, I told you the time will come that being on milk is not going to help you, baby. You need some solid foods in a time like this. Solid food is going to help you stand on the word of God. Solid food is not going to help you, help you move out of foolishness. I can't be foolish in my ways and foolish in my thoughts, but I got to move in my power. I asked God, Father, do you want me to go down and march? He said, no, no, my daughter, I need you to pray. I don't need you to do what everybody else is doing. I need you to do what I tell you to do. God says, in this time, we got to operate yeah. in obedience. Yeah. For those that God has called down there to march, it's our time to pray and cover them. God says, yes, you Lord. got to get in where you fit in. You got to be in the right jurisdiction yeah. in such a time like this. Your mama in there for those, those of you young teens, they don't have money for to try to get you out of jail. You need to focus on your schoolwork in a time like this. God says in this time, he's going to show his power like never before. Oh, in the word it says, it's a time to keep and a time to throw away. God says we are to keep his commandments and his truth and throw away our fleshly desires. He says in this time we must move in our truth. God says in order for us to get the revelation knowledge of what how we're supposed to move, we got to draw near to him and operate in truth. You can't say you love God and you tell all lies all day. God says operating in spirit and in truth. God says you cannot operate with him in a lie, but you got to operate with him in the truth. God says there's truth that is coming forth. There is truth that's going to happen. There is truth that needs to happen. There is truth. We got to operate in spirit and in truth. This is not a time for us to be foolish. This is not a time for us to get in our ways. This is time for us to consult with the Lord in such a time like this. God says this is a time for us to talk to our young boys and our young girls. To tell them what they need to focus on in such a time like this. God says we got to turn away from our wicked ways. In Come on. order for him to work. God says he can't work in truth if you still live in a lie. So you got to That's operate right. in spirit yes, and in truth. Yeah. It's spirit and in truth. The spirit of the Holy Spirit and walking in the truth of the Holy Spirit. God says in this time, you got to trust him uh-huh. in spirit and in truth. Yeah. 
Oh, I went to God and I was going to laminations and asking, Father, do you want me to say this? He said, my daughter, I just need you to tell the truth about my word. Yeah. My word is, is that if you all will turn from your wicked ways, if you all will turn from your wicked ways and humble yourself and come before me, I can heal the land. I told y'all to stay in the house and y'all still went outside. I told y'all to pray and y'all still watch TV. I told y'all to love your neighbor, you still hating your neighbor. I told y'all to operate out of spirit and in truth. I told y'all to keep close to me and y'all continue to drive away from me. I said to operate in spirit and in truth. God says this is the truth of the hour. That if you don't get close to him, your world will get darker. If you don't get close to him, the enemy will come knocking. But you, so you can operate out of spirit and out of truth. God says in this season, we got to operate out of spirit and in truth. God knows everything that is going on in this season. He says, but do not be dismayed in this hour. Come on. Because he's going to have the truth come. Yes. And those who will be willing to seek the truth will stand on the truth. Here is the truth. We got work to do. Here is the truth. We got to work in the kingdom. Here is the truth. We got to love one another. Here is the truth. We got to encourage one another. Here is the truth. We got to look out for one another. Here is the truth. We got to sow into one another. Here is the truth. The truth is we got to be doing what we supposed to be doing. The truth is we've been operating out of filth and mess. And God says this is the truth that he's calling to you. He's not interested in your perspective. He's interested in you being powerful. God says you got to operate yeah. out of spirit and out of truth. Yes, Lord. God says spirit and the truth. Uh -huh. He says, my daughter, if you get closer to me, I will give you the truth. Just like he prepared Jesus for such a time to die on the cross, he showed him how to operate out of truth. The devil came his way. The devil tried to knock him down, but he still operated in spirit and in truth. He was able to engage in conversation with the enemy and say, flee from me, Satan. He was able to understand that the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He was able to understand that God was still covering his life. He was able to understand that God was not going to take the cup because he's already declared that the cup had to go through. God says in this season we must operate in spirit and in truth. So I'm here to encourage you today that you got to get some truth in your life. Yes, Lord. The truth is you got to put in some work. You got to put in some work in your personal time with God. You got to put in some work in your marriage. Your marriage will continue to fail if you don't put in the work. That's right. Oh, God, God says if you don't put him at the center of it, it will continue to fail. God says your children will not turn from their wicked ways if you don't allow them to operate in spirit and in truth. Get into their cell phones and get on their computers and see what they've been engaging in in this season. I've never heard of children saying that they need some privacy. Not in the Miller's household. God says in spirit and in truth, you got to know who your kids connected to. In spirit and in truth, you got to know what they engaged in. In spirit and in truth, you got to know who they worshiping. Are they worshiping God or are they worshiping the devil? God says in this season, yeah. we got to know what's going on. Yes, God Lord. says we've been so blinded by operating out of flesh that we don't know. What's going on in this season? He said, but in this season, you got to get the truth. You got to get to the bottom of the truth. If the truth is you got work to do, then go ahead and get to the daddy so he can work on you. If the truth is your kids are bad, then you need to go ahead and get to daddy and ask him for how do you get your kids in order. If the truth is that you have no relationship with God, then you need to get one with him. If the truth is that you are not interested in change, and then stop calling people and telling them about it. If the truth is that all the only thing you want to do is elevate yourself, then don't cry when God does not elevate your life. If the truth is you don't never pray, you cannot be expected for God to move. The truth yeah. is yeah. we must operate yeah. in spirit and in truth. So the truth is that when we open these doors back up, we should be in here standing like warriors. The truth is that we should not be worried about titles and who's going to notice us. But we need to move on the word of God. Come on. Because when this thing passes over with all these, this rioting, God is still.
still looking for you to tell the truth. He's still looking for you and how you going to move. He's still looking for you and how you going to work. Are you going to work in spirit and in truth or are you still going to talk about it and just sit on your couch and keep putting out tweets and, uh, tweets and quotes and talking about the president? Well, has any of you decided to go be the president? Then go ahead and operate in spirit and in truth. You can't talk about somebody and you ain't even voted. God says this is the time to operate in spirit and in truth. You can't talk about who's in the White House and who's in the house downtown yeah. because you have not voted. God says this is the spirit and truth. Why don't you riot the, the voting registry? Why don't you riot the prayer room? Why don't you riot your wallet so you can operate out of spirit and truth? Why don't you riot those things? Why don't you riot and volunteer? God says we must operate out of spirit and out of truth. So what am I saying? I am saying that this is a time for us to stand up. I am saying this is a time for us to use our voice. I am saying this is a time for us to draw near to God so we can operate yes, out of spirit and out of truth. God says in this time we are to pray for one another, to love one another. God says in this time we are to operate yes, out of spirit yeah. and out of truth. Uh -huh. God says you got to be truth in what's going on in your neighborhood. The black on black crimes. The black on black shooting. The black on black drug dealing. God says you mothers that's been accepting handbags and your child is a drug dealer, baby. Operate out of spirit and out of truth. He ain't looking for you to wear some red bottoms, darling. He's looking for you to pray for your child so they won't be another statistic in the jail system operate out of spirit and out of truth. God says this is the truth that we must stand by. This is the truth that we must live by. We must operate out of spirit and out of truth. Oh God, I thank you for spirit and truth. I thank you God that in this season that we must operate out of spirit and out of truth. God says stop remembering your favorite scriptures and start reading the Bible for yourself because if you read that word it, that word will correct you if you read that word, that word will convict you, if you read that word that word will heal you, if you read that word, that well word will cover you, if you read that word that word will give you confidence if you read that word, that word will operate out of order, God says you must read the word to know the word, you must read the word to pray the word, you must read the the word to stand on the word. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I know I'm walking heavy. I know y'all wanted a old, a old cute little sermon, but I don't have time for that today. I got a 14-year-old son, and I got to encourage him in this season. I got to encourage my brothers and my sisters in this season. I got to encourage in this season. And all I can do is operate on spirit and in truth. I am looking for the preachers and the teachers that will stand with me. I am looking for the preachers and teachers that will stand with me as we do our citywide baptism. I am looking for the preachers and the teachers that will stand with me, that will go feed the homeless, that will sow into yeah. families, that will restore some families. I am looking for those yeah. in this season. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, those oh, are the ones yeah. I'm looking for. Yeah. Those are the ones I want to stand with. Those are the ones I want to pray for. Those are the ones I believe in. I am looking for those preachers that have God on their heart. I am looking for those preachers that will move on God's authority. I am looking for those preachers who are not worried about your pocketbook. I am looking for those preachers who will move in their power. I am looking for those preachers that will be yes, encouragers and influencers. I am looking for those preachers that can keep their legs and their mouth shut. I am looking for those preachers that can stand on the word of God. I am looking for those preachers that will reconcile their own marriages. I am looking for those preachers that are not trying to bump arms with those that can try to get them in something more greater. I am looking yeah. for those leaders uh -huh. that can lead in such a time like this. Yeah. Yeah. I am looking for those leaders that will encourage our young boys and young girls to stand on the word of God. I am looking for those preachers that will get close to our children and they don't have to make an appointment. I am looking for those leaders that will pray for our authorities even if we don't agree with them. I Come am on. looking for those leaders that will invest in our neighborhoods. I am looking for those leaders that will call correction and order. I am looking for those leaders that will stand on truth in the word. I am looking for those leaders that will encourage other leaders. I am looking for leaders 
for who are not trying to be in competition. Baby, I'm not in competition. I don't have to keep up with the Joneses because I was born a Jones. And I'm here to tell you today that we got work to do. We got work to do in the kingdom. We got work to do in our houses. We got work to do in the marketplace. Yes, Lord. I am looking for those leaders who are willing to stay with, stand with me and won't get caught in their feelings. I'm not looking to interested in being in your pool pit. I'm looking for the power of God to exude from your house to our house. I am looking for those preachers that will get out of their Gucci loafers and go into the, the broken down neighborhoods and will preach the word of God. I am looking for those leaders that will go back and reach for those that don't look like them. I I am looking for those leaders that, that won't just preach to one demographic. I am looking for those leaders that are looking for God's chosen people who look like me and who don't look like me. That's Asian, that's Hispanic, that's Mexican. I am looking for any chosen Christ God child that's called by Christ that will come and worship God in the house. I am looking for those leaders who are versatile in their leadership style. I am looking for those leaders that have a dream like Dr. Martin Luther King. Yes, he Lord. said he had a dream that boys and girls would be able to play together. Yeah. He had a dream that boys and girls could get an education together. And I have a dream like Martin Luther King. Wow. I have a dream that racism will stop. Yeah. I have a dream that black on black crime will stop. Yes, I have Lord. a dream that we will not have one parent homes. I yes. have a dream that we will not have illegitimate children. I have a dream that holiness will come back. Yeah. I have a dream that God will be lifted up. I have a dream that God will stand up. I have a dream in the name of Jesus yeah. that God will come back for those that love him. I have a dream yeah. that God will release those from prison that are sitting in there for crimes they did not commit. Yeah. I have a dream that every missing child will be found. Yeah. I have a dream that every soul that's lost on drugs and alcohol that God will restore their mind and heal their heart. Yeah. I have a dream that God will restore faith. I have a dream that mother and fathers will be in houses together. I have a dream that people will stop having loose sex and bringing up children. I have a dream that we will begin to be good parents. I have a dream that we will stop having children and having grandparents raise them. I have a dream that we will stand up and walk in order. I have a dream that we will move in order. I have a dream that God will get the last say. I have a dream and I believe that God power still works. I have I have a dream and I believe that my faith will move me. I have a dream and I believe that my faith will move mountains. I have a dream that God is going to shake some things up. I have a dream that God will tear out those who are not standing for him. I have a dream and I believe that God is set in order even in even such chaos like this. I have a dream that we must operate in spirit and in truth. I have a dream that we will stop playing in the kingdom. I have a dream that we will stop elevating ourselves. I have a dream that we will stop being trifling. I have a dream that we will stop going alone and getting alone. I have a dream that we will stand for righteousness and holiness. I have a dream that we will stand for unity. I have a dream that we will call on the name of God. I have a dream that we will believe in the name of God. Yes, yes. I have a dream that God is coming back for those that he loves. Hallelujah. I have a dream that God is going to bless those that he loves. I have a dream that justice still will happen today. I have a dream and I believe that God is going to give peace to all of those families that lost their loved ones yeah. to injustice. I believe that God is going to move a mountain. I believe that God will give those families peace past all understanding. I believe that God will save souls even in such a time like this. I believe that God still sits on the throne. I believe that people will stop voting with their wallet and blow, vote with their integrity. I believe that people will start walking in spirit and in truth. I believe that God is going to be honored in even such an hour like this. I believe that we will stop being petty and we will start walking on promise. I believe that we will start telling the truth in the pool pit. I believe that God yes, is Lord. going to move in this hour. 
So I'm here to way, encourage Lord. you today that this is not about yeah. our feelings. This is not about our perspective. It's about how we are supposed to move with our power. In this season, God is calling us to be strategic like never before. We are to show up for city council and start attending those meetings. We are to support our brothers and sisters and stop asking for discounts. We are start to operate out of spirit and out of truth. We got to believe the true word of God will live and even such a time like this. I believe that God is setting order and even a time like this. And I believe some of you will miss the swift and move of God if you don't draw near to him. So I'm here to encourage you today that baby you still must stay the course because God is still moving like never before. So God says there is a time and I'm here to tell you that uh, this is a time for us to get in order. I'm here to tell you that this is a time for you to believe that you got to call order over your house. Walk around your house and say order, order, order. I need order in my house. I need order in my finances. I need some order. This is a time for we for us to blow up the phones of the uh, council men and women and call order. This is a time for us to ask how can we sow into uh, their businesses. This is a time for us to begin to seek yes, out the Lord. next candidate so we can support them with our finances. This is time for us to do this yes. so we can operate out of order. I'm just going to take you to the scripture. And I'm going to take my seat. It says in James, the fourth chapter, beginning at verse seven. So submit to the authority of God. Resist the devil. Stand firm against him and he will flee from you. So submit to the authority of God. Yes. Resist the devil, stand firm against him, and he will flee from you. Come close to God with a contrite heart, and he will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your unfaithful hearts, you double-minded people. God says in this season, we are to trust him like never before. We have to come close to God. It's not just a saying, it's in his word. That if we come close to him, he will give us the revelation knowledge that we need. So I'm here to ask you today, how will you come close to God? Will you give your life completely over to him and give him your full yes? Or will you give your time to what God wants to use your time for? Will you give your resources and your finances to what God wants to use for? And we don't like what we see in the White House in downtown Cincinnati and any other city. Then we have to change it with our power and with our mind. Not with our perspective and our opinion. Opinion don't change laws. Opinion don't elect people. Power does. God says this is the time for us to use our power and our mind and to walk in unity. God says this is the season for us to draw near to him. Yes. So are you willing to draw near to him? If you are willing to draw near to him and operate out of power, give God some hearts right now. Yes. God says he needs your hearts. He needs your pure heart. He needs your honest heart. Yes, he needs Lord. your heart in this season. He needs your yes. God says whatever it is on the mind is also in the heart. If you keep God stayed on your mind, he will also dwell in your heart and when you allow God to dwell in your heart you will move in his power it is time for you to move in the power of God give Hallelujah. God some hearts right now give God Hallelujah. some hearts right now and we thank you that we will arise because God is moving we will arise because God is moving so if you have not given your life to Christ I'm here to tell you today to say, Father, I repent for my sins. I repent, God, for anything that I have done, Father, how I have not believed. God, I thank you for coming into my life. I accept Jesus Christ in my life today. And if you said that thing right there, God has accepted you and you have accepted yes, Lord. Get yourself Hallelujah. in Jesus Bible Baptist Church, Bible Moving Church, and God says he is 
going to bless your soul. It is time for you to move. God has chosen you for a time such as this. He has chosen you to rise up and to stand up. He has chosen you to believe what he has called over your life. It's no more time for sitting and squatting. It is time to move. If you going to move on the word of God and move in the flow of God, give God some hearts right now. Give God some hearts right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Father, we lift up every man and woman that sits in a seat of authority. That, Father, that they will move in integrity and move on your power. No longer will we operate out of fear. We will operate out of faith and we will move on the power. And, God, when we feel weak, we will call on your angelic host, Father. The angelic host of Michael who comes to destruct and destroy the plans of the enemy. God, I thank you that in this season we are to trust in you. God, I thank you that you will protect our brothers and sisters, God. In the name of Jesus, that not another black life will be taken, yes. Father, by injustice, Father. And I thank you, God, in the name of thank Jesus, you, that you protect our men and women that stand Hallelujah. in blue, Father. Oh, God, we thank you, Father, that we will not operate out of fear. And God, I pray for every one of those businesses that were Hallelujah. destroyed, Father. Encourage those business owners, God, that you are still in control. Yes. And God, I thank you that your light will still shine in such a dark time like this. So God, have your way. So we can move in a time like this, God. We can move thank off of love. We can operate out of love. And God, I thank you, Father. I thank you, God. Oh, God, I thank you. Yes, God. We thank you, Father. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Hey. He is good. You're so good, Father. You're even good in the dark time, God. You are good, God. Hey, you're so good. Oh, God, you're so good, Father. You're real good, God. You're so good, God. You're on time, God. In the name of Jesus. Hey, God, we love you. Give God some hearts right now. Hey, God, you're so good. Hey, hey. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to sow some offerings into the kingdom. So we can move our power. I got some plans that God has downloaded inside of me. Come on, somebody. Hey. He's still good. You can give the cash out to Chosen Ministries. Hey. Or Simple Give. Hey. You are good, God. Take that stuff on you. Hey. Get on up and move your power. You're so good. You're real good. Hey, you're still good. You're still good. Oh, yes, God. I can believe, declare and decree that our black brothers and sisters, God, will rise in this hour. I decree, God, just like Martin Luther King, God, that we will come together on water court, Father, in the name Jesus. Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus. Hey, get it on, Hey, get it on, Sucker. What's your name, God? Hey, what's your name? You got to believe in this thing. Put hashtag power. I'm moving in power. Hashtag I'm moving in power. God has been better than you than you've been to yourself. Come on, somebody. Hey, bless your name, God. You've been better than me than I've been to myself. Hey. God, you've been better than us than we've been to ourselves, Lord. Hey. We are going to operate in power. Power, power, power. Bless your name, God. Hey. Bless your name, God. Give it on, Sire. Give it on, Sire. Give it on, Sire. Bless your name, God. If you got some prayer requests, you can go ahead and send those to LJ. If you are looking for a church home, call us tomorrow and we will get you connected. We are opening our doors next Sunday, and we are going to rock the house. Hey.
Get closer than I see little sign. What you saying to me, Elder? I ain't gonna be here next Sunday. Oh, Elder won't be here next Sunday. Elder would be being cool on his motorcycle with his biker babe, his wife. Amen. You got to live a little. Amen. Elder lives a cool life. He lives a cool life. I seen his bike yesterday. He's a cool man. But listen, you all pray for everyone that has experienced something um, in this time. I just hear God saying is that we need to move in power. We need to move in our power. We need to get involved in our neighborhoods. We need to be honest with ourselves. Sometimes God will give you a word. He corrects out of love and he encourages out of love. Amen. So give God some hearts right now. We love y'all at Chosen. We will continue to pray for y'all. Happy birthday to Raven. She had a birthday yesterday. I seen that beautiful cake. And congratulations to all of the graduates. I know that Cameron has graduated, and I'm sure a few others have graduated. Natasha's daughter has graduated. Um, I, think, I think there's a number of graduations. So bless God for you all. Stay encouraged yes. and move on God's power. Power, power, power in the hour. Amen. Power, power, power in the hour. God says if you seek him in this hour, you can, you can download on his power. If you seek him in this hour, you can download on his power. So if God has called you to go down there to march, all I say to you is to put some oil on yourself. And you lay hands on yourself. Yes. And operate out of wisdom and out of power. Amen. Amen. All right. We will see you all on uh, Monday tomorrow for the prayer call uh, at 7 a.m. And then also join us for a Bible study on Wednesday. Um, but we looking forward to connecting with you all. All right. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hey. No longer defeated. But we're winners now. We are winners now. Yes, God. Bless your name. Always win. Let's do it one more time. Come on, y'all. Bless your name, God. And we will win. And we will win. We speak victory. We love you. You all have